You have arrived at the KOE Nation. Welcome one and all to the KOE Nation for a very special spirit review of the Glen Murray line here, folks. I am your King of Extreme, Phil KOE, the man of the hour, the man with the power, the man that makes you the podcast cower, the prince and potentate of the political parlance, one damn handsome man if I do say so myself. And you can, of course, find me at KOE Nation on YouTube, TikTok, Twitch, and now Twitter as well. And I am joined this evening by my indomitable mm-hmm. broadcast partner, the one, the only, the 15-time Revolutionary Wrestling Podcast champion. I am non-chill filtered, quadruple distilled, and bourbon barrel finished. Ooh, nice, nice. So, Tony, before we, uh, before we're here, uh, Glenn Murray, what part of Scotland does it hail? This is the space uh <sighs> The River Spay. Yes. So, Tony, okay, you know me. I'm a little bit of a Highland snob. You are. But boy, howdy, does the Spay side uh, attract me more than once? It's I've been tempted. This is by gonna, the River Spay. This is going to attract you four times over because what we have here is Len Marais Chardonnay Cask mm. finished. A lot of also forty percent ABV. Stop me if you heard that. A lot of people don't like Chardonnay finished whiskeys. I, on the other hand, love Chardonnay, so I bet I'm going to love it. Now, here's the thing. In the wine world, there's some people that are called ABCs. means anything but Chardonnay. Hmm. And I am not a member of this group. No, you're Um, not. I have been a lover of Chardonnay. Um, I was in a wine challenge, a white wine challenge. I brought a bottle of Napa Valley Chardonnay, and it got oh, it got beat by Nebraska's own two brothers. That's right. That that I was quite shocked about. So uh, James Arthur Vineyard's two brothers actually beat out a Napa Valley Chardonnay. I was quite quite amused by that. Oh yeah, it's oh it's a just a bag of fruit, mm. baby. Mm. Now T, I'm a wine snob. Indeed. A Bit of That's why you were necessary for this. Now we are on the Chardonnay. That literally just smells like Chardonnay. Like I don't even smell the whiskey there. I can really stay in that nose all day. I like, had a I, feeling. I could like literally, if you just had like a a pool where you're like in one of those little floaty things and just. I could float in that nose all day. Uh, yeah, that's, that is. <laughs> figure that's right up your alley. Yeah, that to me just am, smells like Chardonnay. I'm gonna enjoy that. Now uh, that cast finish is just overwhelming on the nose. Now we get into the tasting part, T. Yes. Good luck editing these solo reviews. Oh yeah, because you're gonna be bouncing back. Oh, I'm, and forth. I'm aware, but I, <laughs> I'm I am above it, folks. You you won't even be able to tell. I might even like edit it in edit in a few like standing ovations where like people think like ah, Phil, Phil, Phil. Yeah, don't worry, it'll be awesome. And I'm out. No, I'm just no, I'm, no, done. I'm out. But that was Tony's um was my final appearance. Was... No, that was, that, was it. that was it. Tony uh that was his yeah. retirement. That was his swan song. <laughs> All right. Tony, what I'm really looking forward to though is uh Glenn Murray. Chardonnay finished. Oh, yeah. Again, that's just uh, that's just Chardonnay all over the nose. Don't. don't. I'm really afraid this is going to be like the McCallum, where the nose is so hauntingly good that the palate can't live up to it. I'm really I, afraid. I think you're going to be a fan of this. But like I remember it. Yep. It's really sweet. It's really nice on the Becoming front. brownies the longer you leave it in. It's a great start. For me, grainy on the start. It's the finish. It's the finish I have a problem with. It's like a it's it's that same thing you get with Chardonnay. It's like dry and oily at the same time. Somehow. And I, I don't know how yeah. else to describe it. Like, that's. Especially if it's a <laughs> European Chardonnay and it's been grown in really almost stony soil to the point where you can just. 
It almost tastes salty when mm. you drink it. And it's like, oh, it's mm. delightful. Right. Now, California Chardonnays mm. are juicy and delicious and sweet, uh, buttery. And what was that one flavor you said that you always associate with Chardonnay? Oil. What did I say? Oh, I forget. Like, it, it, not like an oily, almost it's an dry oily. and oily. Yes, there we go. Dry and oily. That is simultaneously. That's what I love about Chardonnay. It's sweet, dry, and oily. It's just a it's such a unique mouth. It's, it's got a very buttery sweetness on the front, but then, yeah, that finish. I don't. I'm trying to think of what it is that you can put on your palate that reminds you of that that finish, and I, I I cannot put my finger on it. But it's specific. I'm sure it'll come to me eventually. But it, it's good. It's really nice. It's really good on the front. I'm not a huge fan of the finish on this one though. Uh, you know, everybody's entitled to be. Sure, you will be many a time. It hasn't happened yet, but I'll let you know when it does. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, mm. Mm. Now, Tony, now we get to a very interesting part here. And that is the grading of each of these whiskeys. All right. So okay. we're going to grade, grade them all as a single malt, as a scotch. As a whiskey, it's shelving. And for those new to the show, secret fifth question. Now, Glenn Murray, Chardonnay cask finished. All right, Tony, on a five star scale, as a single malt scotch, how do you grade? As a single malt, uh, I'm going to give this 325. It's unique. It's got a great front. It's got a finish that people that like finishes are really going to appreciate. It. So, yeah, 3.25. 3.25. Okay. As a single malt scotch, I'm going to give this four stars. Wow. I love wow. this stuff. It's a little McCallany in that it's no. I love so how you use that as an insult. I know, like most people would be like, that's not a, but like, but, but he, Tony, I mean, okay, it's just a personal thing, I understand, but to me, the noses of McCown are so hauntingly like, they're like a tapestry of art in your nose, and there's no way your palate can ever be as trained to match that beauty, okay? And so that's why McCallan is always very challenging for me, okay? That's a good way of putting okay. it. And Glenn Murray. Chardonnay, it's pretty damn close there, okay. too. Okay? Okay. I might even just have to sniff a bottle of McCallum. <laughs> just... <laughs> um, so, as a scotch, putting it up against all the scotch and all of the great nation of Scotland. I'm going to go 2.25 as a scotch. Uh, yeah, the, the Chardonnay definitely limits this in terms of where it can go eat so it's yeah. niche but i'm still gonna give it three stars okay um i think this stands up against most scotch especially anything that's even got the lightest hint of peat because all these like let us know in the comments which ones you think do or don't this one probably has the least of anything yeah it might be fair this seemingly had the most like mm. now granted we've had some casking where there was no peat and they just seem to find a way it, it to get in there. Appears. So, as a whiskey, yeah, I'm gonna go two and a half. Much I don't like to. Ah, uh, you're so like Tony. Name one cocktail you could do with this. Uh, yeah, I can't. I, that's why I'm gonna go two On the as rocks. a whiskey because, yeah, yeah, two scotch and soda, like Maybe. soda water. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, you're, you're extremely limited. Like this is yeah, that this is it. Like yeah, it's not yeah. like like I'll be honest. Like one Christmas, my brother mixed Dalmore 15 with Coke on ice. Okay, I tried it. It was really fucking good. <laughs> it was really good. Like, and it was Christmas, so whatever. Um, I get it. I know. I know. Get a tear. But I tried to sip and. It was, 
It was spectacular. Say no more. It was amazing. It was a masterpiece. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, back to Glenn Murray. Um, as in terms of its shelving, this would be my middle shelf. This might go on my bottom, but maybe my middle. Trying to be very nice, <laughs> even though you hate Chardonnay. It's it's it's, it's not a it's, hate. It's just not my favorite. You don't hate them. It's just you know you'd appreciate if they stayed a county or two. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, and then Tony. Secret fifth question. When this bottle runs empty, will you seek another? Mm, not necessarily. Okay, unless you have a need to have a complete Glen Murray collection. Yeah. Which, I have a feeling it's going to take you a while to get through this one. And I have a feeling it's been past the shoulder now for a little while. I bet this bottle gets a lot better. Um, Could be. I would probably, this would be the only Glen Murray I would probably keep on my... Uh, shelf like that I would exclusively seek out. Now, if any of these were on sale for like a like, if you're walking by, like, dude, really? Like, I got a couple like bottles on my shelf that that's why they're there because they ju I just got them on a spectacular price. This would be one that I might just seek out ex explicitly. So yes, yes, I would. What'd you pay for that? That one was, I believe. I want to say right under i got it on a sale just under 30. nice yeah nice. typically you're gonna be like 35 to 40. anything under 30 that's a grab yeah. that's a grab all right that's usually when i try to get my glenn murray if i need it is when there's a scotch sale going on at the liquor store where i know they carry the glenn murray cast finish all righty that's now, still in lincoln nebraska too. well hmm. glenn murray line Wow. It's been a long time coming, but we finally gave you your just due. So, D, this is what I'm right here. All that being said, thank you for joining us here at the KOE Nation, folks. You can, of course, find me, Bill KOE at KOE Nation on YouTube, TikTok, Twitch, and Twitter. And I hope all of you make it back here to the KOE Nation happy, healthy, much the wiser. God bless every last one of you. Raise a glass to yourselves. Tony, take it away. This has been uh, very interesting, very scientific, long time coming. Glad we finally got to do it. A couple of these bottles are going to disappear very, very soon. Thanks for coming. Thanks for checking us out. KOE Nation, like, share, subscribe. We're going to give you the hard-hitting, honest reviews that other people, frankly, are probably afraid to do. That's what you come here for. Thanks for stopping in. We'll catch you on the next.